Students, students, come to class. All right, yesterday we looked at sprites, right? Today we're going to look at backdrop. He says crash programming was about three things. Who remember those three things? What did he say? You, you, glue, you, glue. We said scratch programming was about three things. Three elements. We said three elements. You said back, sprite, backdrop, and code. How could any word of this is this? Backdrop and code. So those are the three elements. And yesterday we spent our time looking at sprites. Today we're going to look at backdrop. Now, what is backdrop? Backdrop is a layer. And that layer is the very last layer. Yesterday we saw layers when we're looking at looks properties of so we saw these two uh codes in a way that if we have more than if we have more than one character on stage we go to the sprite library we bring this, we go to the sprite library, we bring this, we go to the sprite library, we bring this. We realize that these four elements, these four sprites, what? we see these four sprites, they exist in four different layers, four different layers. Layers. And then the back, the last layer is called the backdrop. So when you have something on the backdrop or the background, so that's what we want to look at today. So the backdrop here is white. The backdrop there is white. So when we look at this pane, this pane here, is a backdrop pane. This pane here is the backdrop pane. We said this pane was the property pane. And this pane is your sprite menu. This way you put your sprites. Sprite pane. You can see the number of sprites you have. And these are their properties. If you select one, you look at its property here on the property pane. And then here is the backdrop pin. So today we'll be looking at that. And when you look at the backdrop pin, how many backdrops do we have? One. So when you click on the pin, and then you come here, you will see backdrop here. You see? Then, but when you okay. click here, you come here, you will not see backdrop. You see what? Costumes. 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 Yeah. So we should be very, very careful and sensitive with these kind of things. So when we click and we come to the backdrop, we can decide to do our own backdrop. I can use a rectangle tool here, and I make it to have no, no borders, no borders, no thickness in the border, and just the feel. And I can come here and make my own. I use this, and I come here, and I put, and I feel instead of white, now we have what as a background. Okay. So we can change our background, can change another color, and that's what we have, and change another color, that's what you have. So you can make your own background, or you can go to a background that is there, you come here at the backdrop, and then you can add some other things there. Well, a background cannot just be like that, I can change another one, I can go into this background, I take the brush, and I can make some other shades on it to look like 
Hey, stop that. Don't hold it. It's your friend's tablet. It's not yours. Stop that. You can beg your friend. Say, can we share? Speak. Use your mouth, not, not hands. All right? You're too young to be using hands and fighting. You're a little boy. Say, please, can we share? Tell him. Say, please, can we share? All right. So we have that in your backdrop. So if we click each of these and hide, click and hide, click and hide, click and hide, that's our backdrop. These are not characters, so that's how your backdrop looks like. But in this case, now we only have one backdrop. Now to add new backdrops, we go to the what? Backdrop pane, and below there, the icon says backdrop library. If you have a backdrop in your computer, you can also go and do what? Upload, and we'll search the computer. The computer has like pictures, and the pictures there, you might find some pictures like this. Pictures like this. And then this is a backdrop. In fact, so now we have how many backdrops? Two backdrops. This is not. Where did you get that from? From my computer. It's inside my computer. So this backdrop is there. And if you see, you can add other things to this backdrop. Or you can just. Go back what? here and I like you a, a circle, a circle. So the backdrop now has the finger, but it has all these things. But these circles and fingers, they cannot move. Why? They are backdrop. Backdrop is static. Backdrop doesn't move. Uncle Nelly, can you show me how you put another picture again? You go here, backdrop. Instead of choosing a backdrop, you go up and you click here. It says upload. 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 And you can find something from your tablet. If you're using, if you're using mit.edu, scratch.mit.edu, then you can upload from your gallery. So I pass well, gallery. I'm gonna try it on the iPad. Well, okay. I always say that let your dad, then your daddy should get you for a special. Okay laptop you use to program a scratch 3.0 on your laptop all right so again I didn't know that that's one that's another one then when we come to backdrop here you see the two different backdrops you see how we are switching the two different backdrops mm -hmm. this backdrop one and this one says finger finger one okay yeah. so this backdrop you can give it a name you can just call it blue so we can rename the black bag the backdrops so when we click here hey, i didn't know that i thought all right daniela welcome all right so Hello. your backdrop you can add backdrop or you can go to the backdrop library you can choose like an outdoor backdrop like this outdoor city and then now on the backdrop here we have how many one blue mm -hmm. other one say finger one the other one say colorful city we can come more again here and we add this castle three. This one says castle three. We can come here again. We add this farm. This one says a farm. Mm -hmm. We can come here. We add, if you want to add underwater, we add this underwater here. Okay. And we can come, we add desert is there, room. You can add this kind of study room like this. So adding so many things. Now we have all these backdrops. Then when you when you are on the, on the backdrop pane like this, and you see backdrop here, when you come to code, it does not mean code any of this sprite. We have we did not select any of this sprite. You selected by the backdrop. So when you come here, what you are coding here is backdrop. So some people sometimes they will come here in this. They click code and they, they click sound category. They click event. They click control or they click motion and they don't see any motion. No motion here. Why? Backdrops don't move. So they'll be like, oh, teacher, my motion is gone. I can't see motion anymore. If you it's want because, to see motion. It's, be, it's because <coughs> you're using, you're using a backdrop. <laughs> you're not using a person. A sprite. Very good. So if you want to see your motion, go to Sprite, 
your emotion will appear. Go to backdrop, emotion will disappear. Understood? <clears throat> so, what can we do with backdrop? We can do what? Next uh, backdrop. You can change backdrop? Oh, yes. You go to backdrop and you yeah, click code. I didn't Next. know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know there was a button like that. And then now, when we say when space is pressed, next back, drop. When we do this, when space is pressed, you go to events, and you take when space is pressed. You go to looks, you take next back, drop. You put under, and then you can go full screen. Now somebody come and control you with space key. When space is pressed, you go to next back, drop. So... And why do we need why do we need next backdrop? Well, this one is controlling you with space, but in the program we can say when one, two, three, four codes execute next backdrop. One, two, three, four again, next backdrop. So like that, we go to one backdrop, we do something there, we go to next backdrop, we hide, we show some other elements. And then we go to next backdrop. So you are telling a story scene by scene. So people who don't know how to tell stories, people who don't know how movies work. When people act movies, they act movies in the living room. And then they go upstairs, they act movies upstairs. And then they go to the office, they show them in the office. They show them on the highway, they are driving, they show them in the car. Those are different backdrops. Those are different what? Backdrops. So backdrops. to tell a great story, you have to find your backdrops. You have to think about the different places you want to tell your stories in. So that's how you think. You think about the settings. And when you choose a place, is it in the morning? Is it in the afternoon? Is it in the evening? So the time of the day also matters. Is it in the beginning of the week? Is it in the middle of the week? Is it during the weekends? So the time of the week also matters. Is it the beginning of the month? Is it the middle of the month? Is it three quarters of the month? Is it the end of the month? The time of the month? Is it the dry season? Is it the rainy season? Is it in the winter? Summer? Autumn? Spring? Also season matters. Is it in the ancient times? Or is it in the modern times? Is it when you were not born? Is it when you were born? Is it when you were baby? Is it when you were in class one? In class two, in oh, class three. Yeah. So the years also oh. matter. So that's called time of the story. And the setting is the time and place. The time and the place. And then the first, we have seen the characters we call sprites. The time, we can determine the time. The place is what we call backdrop. And then now, the action, the plot, what happens is what we call code. Code is what is going to help you to bring the action, bring the characters to life. So we have seen backdrops. We've seen the things that we can do to backdrops. Now, let's go back. Let's see other codes. Can we change the color of a backdrop? Mm, yeah. Somebody come and hit it. Press the space key. Yes. Let's see how the color of this backdrop is changing. Keep pressing. Why do you raise your hand here? Just press like this. Remove and press again. See, this is how you press, that's how you change. Oh. No, I'm changing. Press. It's been green. Good, because we have programmed that when space uh, is pressed, what should happen? The color should change by Changing. 25%. So you see that with the color change, you can make morning, afternoon, evening, or you can make summer, autumn, winter, and spring. The same thing. And night. Or night. All right. What else can you change? You can also do what? Ghost. What? You ghost it. Don't tell me that. No, no. 
Where is it? You can't see it. You put negative for it to come back. It's putting, why is French replacing my thing? It's all right, you can't see anything now. So we are back. Now we can also do pixelated. Pixelated? Mosaic. mosaic. What is? You have 25 what? of this. But it's... let's just do two. What is this? That I don't even know which one's the one. So let's clear the graphics. It's expensive. All of these are So if we put mosaic two, so you have now you have four backgrounds, and in these four backgrounds you can make four things that are running here. They're running here, going very fast. Another one too is running here. Another one is running. Here. Another one is running here. Have you seen that in the movies? So this is how to do it. Background mosaic. Mm. What? Do you okay. do that? We use mosaic. Look at mosaic here. Yes, I know. Uncle Nelly, can you do a roll? Roll? Roll. So what? now we can also do twirl. One. You can One. twirl the background. Let's twirl the background. What is happening to the heel? Hey! Girl! Wow! Heel is getting squished. Yeah, somebody is having a bad dream. In that dream, their house is getting squished. And then, no. then after a while, he's going to say, well, it was just a dream. <laughs> what fell there? <laughs> Yeah. You don't have that what? in the case, and you are allowing that boy to. All right. And then you can also have pixelated. Pixelated? Yes. Pixelated. Somebody, me old. Somebody's having it's a dream. Glitchy. It's glitchy. Somebody's having a dream, and their house is glitching. It's like they're in a cartoon, they're in a game. That means that's glorious dream. That's glorious dream. And then you say, oh, it was bad, a dream. It was just a dream. So for backdrop, that's you can also have brightness, will. You can also have fish eye. It's bulging, bulging, bulging. Um, space is quick. It's turning like a head. Is bulging, and if you're good at telling stories, you can say, or you can add a sound there. Oh, and then you come back, say it was just a wait. Can you actually add a song? So we have seen I colors. Thought, I thought we, I thought I can, color is changing. Light, light, green, light, 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 green, blue, purple, pink, white, white. green, I mean red. And after that, pink, and it's going to be red again, orange, yellow, green, uh, blue, and after that, it's going to blue, and after that's going to be purple, and after so that's going to be pink. Those are the different things that we can do to the background. Wow. What's happening? Glory shouting. Let me try this on my own iPad. I think it... when space is key, press forever change world effect by 25. 
This is too cool. I'm going to use it in my daddy's computer. Me too. So, again, when you learn your backdrops, is one very important thing when you tell stories. Some people just think like they should just go and get a sprite and move, jump, turn around. Not knowing that your backdrop is very important in your storytelling. If you can use your backdrop very well and your characters in the backdrop, your story will have a very high quality or your game will have a very high quality to it. So you can add sound to the backdrop. As the backdrop is there, we have a backdrop sound. Mm -hmm. So go to the sound and we go to the sound library. Sound library is down here. When you click sound library opens, if you want to put a light music in the background, you can go to loops and you can use my favorite music, which is dance, dance, celebrate this one. Jumping up there now, we'll forget. What's that song? Hey. Oh. Out of my iPad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do this too. Okay, new music. What kind of music is this? This turn. I need funny music. I need to listen to funny music. <laughs> when you bring this one, and then we can now go back to this code. Then we can find it now in the list. So that's how the dance lab, the, the sound library works. Go to the sound library and choose a sound before you can see the sound now under Play here. Sound. Play sound. <laughs> then if you don't want the sound to end, you just put it around what? Hey. Forever. So when you play sound, you have to be very careful which one do you use. You have two. One called start sound, the one says play sound until done. So here yeah, you're only starting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's only starting. So this is the wrong one. You have to take that. No, no. Like so you take this play until <laughs> done. Play pop and So you have some video games. So you are making video games. Always the next sound in the background. So, hey, then now you can reduce the volume, set the volume to 200. Very high. Now, let's set the volume to 20. You put like the, the last background music and you reduce the volume because you have other sounds like and that is boxing a manual like that. So now there are sound there when you box, may pie, pie, and then you can also record some of the sound that you, you can find in the sound library. But the sound library is very. Yes. Your sound library is very. Yeah, we're going to have it in the tab and look at the Your sound library is very rich. There are different, different types of sounds. Fact, we can even make piano. We have the piano keys. Notes. So these are piano notes. Let's look for the piano. Yes. Hey. Let's see D E. Hey. 
Piano D. Piano D. So piano D is there. I can go back and find piano. Is that piano D that I brought? Who has seen piano C? Where? So, and then we need piano B. Yes. So, with so with these piano keys, we can we can play with the piano keys now and play sound until done. Duplicate. Hey, Papa, till done. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, so we play piano. Whoa! I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Mary had a DC People don't know music, so we start with E. Oh, I put bed E. Now we need bed, we need bed T, not E. Piano D. Like neighboring sound. Where's the piano D? This is the, this is the best paper. No, you can't play. Yes, I did. But, 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 piano D. Yeah. Let's do that. But, so, uh, yeah, but I'm good at this thing. B, oh, B, <laughs> B, <laughs> B, B, C, D, 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 D. Okay, let's rock the music. I'm still making I'm still making that music. Oh, can I call anything? Yeah, we had really reduced the volume, so set the volume back to 100. So it's very slow. It's very slow. Play until done. But let me see if I can just start the sound. Let me see if we can start. You can use that as a piano. So, well. What I wanted to show, we can instead do it this way. We can go to extension. When you click below here, you go to extension. And extension, we have music. We have music here like this. And you have music keys. And then we can use these music keys now to play that. We can choose piano. Wait, Uncle Nelly, where did you get that from? I got it from the bottom here. You come down here at the bottom. Extension. Oh. When you click here, you have this. You can use the pen. You can bring the guitar. You can make sound or you can use video to make games. There are certain games that we control with the video. When you slap, you put the manual arrow, a picture there. When you, you make your hand like that, you can make sound. To okay. Pie. Just, it's just my one music. 
So this one is music. So it says play notes. Good. These notes are good because we can the notes you can change how long the notes can be played. Whereas the other one was very slow, right? The other one was very slow. So this one you see you can and you can add the notes very fast. Okay, so so we can use um 62. Okay, good. At least we have the C notes. So you see. So who knew that programming can be fun like this? That you can do so many things here. So we can start from, we can play around 60. No, you have to find the right note. So this is 60 what? 64. Then if you play 64, 63 ah it's not 63 it should be like 62 right this one down here should be 62 and then 60. this is a c note and then you go back to 62 and then you go down to 64 64, okay. 64. If you remove this and then you play, and if you want it to be slowly slower, you change 0 0.25 to 0 0.5, and that will be a half note. And then this is where you will learn also your music. Music, there's half note, which is 0 0.5. Quarter notes, these are the quarter notes that are playing. 0 0.25. The half notes will be like ting 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 ting. The whole notes will be like ting 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 ting. And then 16th note will be what? 0. Point. 16th notes will be what? 0. Point what? 0. Point 0.0625. Then if you have 0 0.125, that is eighth notes. So if we change all these to eighth notes, let's first do full notes. Once, one second. One. You see, the full note, it says one beat. It's, it's, it's measured in beats. Beat is not necessarily one second. Mm -hmm. Again. So when you want to sleep first, you play, you play sleepy notes. Daniela, is that your sleepy notes? Are you sleeping first? Daniela, no, I, not. I want to go slowly, slowly. So let's set our volume. Set volume to 300%. In fact, volume cannot go to 300%. <laughs> it's like you don't have like the hardware for that. I'm Connelly, <laughs> you don't have to play piano. Yeah. Of Mary. course, I can play my piano. <laughs> Those are different things. And you can also play your happy birthday if you know the keys for your happy birthday. You can play your uh, different no. types of songs. No, no. Do no, no, no. re mi. If you know how to use do re mi and mi re do, because here we are playing by backwards. We are instead going by mi re do, not do re mi. Do re mi, father. I went opening the piano, open, and then from there, here yeah, these keys. You can go back to those lower keys. Those are bass. At the bottom of the piano, you have those bass. 23, these are bass. These are piano keys. When you go to the...
Then to the high keys. Those are the keys that can blind your ears. You can never hear well. Oh. High keys. High keys. You see? You see? You see? You see why I'm saying that this man don't come here? Hey! So, when you learn piano and you learn that piano can be programmed, then good. You have some music literacy. And you know you have keys, the beats, whole beat is called the whole note. That's one beat. And if you have 0 0.5, is called half note. 0 0.25, quarter note. 0 0.125, eighth. Contraction here. 16th note and 32nd note. So again, if you learn these things, then good for you. So we can put some music in the background and we just put like when flag is clicked like this. When flag is clicked. And we put it forever around it. And then when you go full screen like this, you only do just that first part. And then like you come and do when when space is clicked, we go to looks and we say next backdrop. So just this one like this. You can do some nice things for your mom. Is that moving by itself? I am I am pressing the space key to make it move. Because you have to program this part, Daniela. This part, it says, when space key pressed, next backdrop. Remember, we are still on the backdrop pane because today is all things backdrop. So when space key is pressed, you can also change to any key, up arrow. So when you press up arrow, it's changing. Up arrow on your keyboard. So let's learn how to program that. But if you want, um, you want it to change by itself, we can just bring forever, and we just click once. And then, if we want to slow it to also make it to be like the music. We bring, wait one second. Wow. wow. Now nobody's touching anything. It's just playing by itself. And this is automation. You have made it to be automatic. And you see, you see on the pin here? I see on the pin. Yeah. So you have to master backdrop or you cannot make best, the best games or they tell the best stories. Glow, glow! How could I make it up? Are you not seeing here? Are you not seeing here? So we have to... We have 
to master our backdrop, all things backdrop. So that next time, when we want to make something, you don't only have to think about, oh, what story should I tell, cat and mouse? Okay, what would the cat say? What would the mouse say? And that's all. Because that is what we're going to do uh, when we think about codes, when we go to codes. Now that we know sprites, and now we master our backdrops, and now when we go to code, you see now how you put these three together now to make first to tell stories and next to make games and when we make games we think about the flow of the game you already arrange the game how to play the game what are the elements in your game your game is about what you should have the idea one word to say your game people kicking your ball and then scoring good so you know your game is about kicking the ball and scoring Kicking the ball is the action. How do I program kicking the ball? All the steps, steps, steps. How do I control that kicking? By arrows or by keyboard keys. So the logic of the game will start from the bigger idea and now to smaller, smaller parts of the actions that will make the game in total. So that's what we call building things in a system. You take the system and you break it into smaller parts of bits. And then you program the noun bit by bit. So when they all come together. And then also the time, which action happened before each other. You have to match all the time. And it's a way to control time. We have delays. If I say hello, when I'm saying hello, you should be quiet. So if I say hello for two minutes, the other person should be quiet for two minutes. Then when a person is answering, I'm also quiet. So how to balance this time? That is when the smartest brains will do it faster than each other. Than some of your classmates. Why some of you will not even understand what is happening? Yes. So. All right. Glow, glow. Is there any other thing to learn about backgrounds? Daniela? Daniela, we can't see you. Daniela, can you see your friends? My friends are not here. I was just eating. I forgot. So we are about to wrap this class up. We started with sprites yesterday. Today we're looking at, we've looked at backdrops. We can, we brought our backdrops from the, um, from our computer and we brought it on stage. That is upload a backdrop. We use backdrop from the backdrop library. Can you please teach me how to play the piano? You know, how to play the piano? Yes. All right. Don't worry. I will show you where to learn it. You can buy the books online, and then you learn how to read the music. All right. So are we saying goodbye to our friends? Are we saying goodbye to all of our friends watching us online? All right, we are coming back in five minutes. It's going to be a class with Josepha and Gerard all the way from China. And we're going to be learning from our language center. It's going to be English time, not programming time. So see you all in five minutes. Bye bye. Wait, Uncle Nelly, you forgot how to play. Let me play piano. See you in five minutes. You come back to the class.